6,500 spiritual leaders are meeting for the Parliament of the World Religions this week. And based on their agenda, we might as well call this the Revelation 13 Conference as it aligns perfectly with the world religion mentioned in Bible prophecy. And Google announces a worldwide ban on independent media. They've specifically listed nine things that will get a website deleted from the Google algorithm. And you're not going to believe number six. All this and more today on End Time. As uh, if you're watching, you can see right here that yeah. uh, sensitive content. We're not going to be talking about sensitive content that normal people would be offended by. But right. it does say some people may find offense they may find our content offensive. So yeah. it's going to be interesting to talk about these things that Google has now decided to ban globally. Mm -hmm. Now, what that means is, and maybe we don't want to get into it yet, but what that means is um, if you use these words on your website, you may not appear in the Google search engine. Yeah, is that so, as simple as that? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. And so, uh, you know, people that are looking for end time ministries will not be able to find us because we talk about a majority of the things that they have listed there that they'll censor you for. So uh, it's going to be harder and harder. You know, we have people all the time that say, hey, I didn't get an alert that you guys were live. Uh, we get that all the time with Facebook. And, uh, you know, there's one of the reasons right there because they want to suppress the news that we're getting out. And so they, along with that, they're trying to uh, say that some of these things that we speak about are disinformation or misinformation. And so... Uh, you know, they're trying to wrangle all that in. But it's amazing at some of the partners that they have that they work with. You know, uh, I didn't put all this information into what we'll be sharing today, but we'll just discuss it right now since we have a second. They they work with the FBI. They work with the... Uh, they as in Google. Yes. They work with the uh, federal banks, the federal banking system. And they work with people like Wikipedia, so interesting because I know a lot of people go to Wikipedia to get information. It just makes you wonder what information are you really getting from Wikipedia. So. Well, we've been wondering that for quite some time. <laughs> we really have. You know, it's open source where anyone could edit it, and sometimes there's things on there that aren't reliable. But yeah. either way, um, I remember back in, I think it was 2012 or 2014, you know, I'm kind of a, I like numbers. I like looking at that and following data and different things like that. So I'm kind of a nerd <laughs> in, in a sense in that regard. And keeping up with the data on our website. It was either 2012 or 2014. I remember things were going great. We were having some of our best numbers ever in regards to web visits. And in one month, it was cut in half. Yeah. And I started talking to some of the developers and the SEO experts that help us out. And they said, well, Google changed their algorithm. And now where we would be in the first, second, or third position on Google if someone would search uh, one of the ones we used to be number one in was the four blood moons. Mm -hmm. um, if they would search that, instead of it being the first, second, or third option, it's now on page four. Wow. Well, I mean, you and I both use search engines. When was the last time you went to page four and Not clicked something? Not many times, unless basically, I'm really looking for something. Basically doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah. And so they didn't necessarily say... Well, they might have, but it's not that like it's like endtime.com is going to be banned from Google. Mm -hmm. It's just good luck, you know, finding it on page eight or nine or ten or whatever it is. Right. Nobody's going there. Nobody's seeing it. So uh, I remember when that happened, and things have happened like that on Facebook, and of course Google owns YouTube now, and so it's happened on YouTube and all across. We use these websites to try to go where the people are because right. it's important that that we're reaching people. But they do get to control the narrative, and if you don't fall in line with them, uh, you're going to be cut off or at least suppressed. Yeah. So they want to force you into saying the things that they want you to say. Well, sure. And, you know, I mean, that goes along with when we talk about world government, I mean, this goes right along with it because some of the uh, agencies that they deal with are the uh, WEF, the WHO, I mean, the UN. So y you've got some of this that's mentioned in this article where they talk about some of these big movers and shakers so it doesn't surprise me that this falls into that category because this is very much uh, the new world order at its finest they're going to control the media flow they want to control the news getting out uh, you and I talked today about the situation going on in Maui where they're not even well I know we don't want to talk too much about that today but uh, where they're not even allowing media into parts of Maui and so I mean this is 
the type of things that they want to control. They want to control the news that's getting out there. And uh, they also, Vince, one of the things that I've noticed too is something can come out that will spark everybody's interest and get people to begin to search and begin to look. Well, once they see that people are searching for that subject, they'll come out with a fact check on it and try to say that it's not true. But there's been several times, especially here lately, where I've been able to go and find that it is very much true what people are saying, but the fact checkers are saying it's not true. Well, there are people, you mentioned Maui, so it's like, here we are. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I jokingly shushed you, but that's because people don't want to necessarily talk about this right now. Right. Um, but you mentioned Maui. My wife last night said, what are you guys going to talk about tomorrow? I said, well, we don't always know the night before, but yeah. uh, she said, you're not going to talk about Maui? I'm like, <laughs> well, not yet, probably, because a lot of this stuff is, you know, it's still considered speculation, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Like, I've seen a lot of stuff, a lot of, a lot of videos from locals or people who proclaim to be locals. Right. So it's like, we're not ready to go down that route yet probably right. but there's a lot of stuff brewing there she says well i follow five or six accounts or whatever it is <laughs> and they're from maui because they're into health and wellness and i've been following them for years yeah. and they're reporting on this on there uh, so i know them i've been following them everything you know they're legit or whatever and so who knows what will happen in maui doug but does it have something to do with world government it, i suppose it could yeah. We'll have to look into that a little more, eh? I think more and more things that are in the news have to do with world government. <laughs> All right. Well, nine things that Google has now banned. That's what we'll be talking about today. And trust me, you're not going to believe number six, so don't go anywhere. Getting right into it, nine things. Yeah. Um, actually, before we do, I wanted to say one more thing to all our viewers on social media okay if you'd like us to hear if you'd like us to look into this maui thing a little bit more and see if there's anything to talk about in regards to bible prophecy comment maui simply just comment the word maui and we'll see what we can do about seeing how that ties into bible prophecy if at all doug there you go got any speculations bible prophecy or no uh bible prophecy no i mean i can't we'll have see. To see right yeah I, I mean, not right off my, you know, not right off the top of my head, so. Yeah. All right. Well, comment it, Maui. Comment Ma the word Maui if you want us to d deep dive into that. But don't think that I don't have some ideas about Maui. Don't think that we haven't <laughs> consumed way too much information on right. it already. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But how about this <laughs> announcement that Google's made on this worldwide ban? That's sounds crazy that that's even possible, but like we said before, Google runs their own website. They can do whatever they want, right? Yeah. I mean... Obviously, yes. I mean, people, you know, that are going to use Google, they're going to have to deal with this, but I don't think it's going to be just Google, and I don't know how far the Google tentacles reach out there. And can, far. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming as well. And so, uh, you know, you know more about the high-tech stuff than I do, but I'm just saying that I would imagine this is going to affect a lot of people's Google searches for sure and other searches as well because I would imagine that uh, to follow suit there's going to be other companies that are going to be doing this very same thing too. The thing that worries me Vince is this is getting more and more like Big Brother. You know I mean we, we talk about uh, how Big Brother's watching us all the time and they want to control, control, control because they are, they're wanting to um, you know just see everything that's out there and they want you to follow the narrative they want people to listen to what they say and they want you to stay in line with what they're saying and if anybody's outside that box they want to stop that they want to nip it in the bud so to speak and so um, it's not uh, surprising to me the the reach that world government has that they can reach out to these people but you know the executives with Google I'm, I'm sure I, that we've even talked about this before that they're part of the World Economic Forum. And so, you know, I mean, with that said, we know the World Economic Forum has a lot of authority and power. So is the UN and the WHO, and both of those are listed in this article. But, uh, you know, one way that this move is going to affect um, not just Google, but people like us, you know, like endtime.com, mm -hmm. um, people search our website. People search for topics that we speak on, that we write about. And this isn't just end time. This is many smaller, you know, we're not Fox News. We're not CNN, Newsmax. We're not big names like that. Uh, we're a smaller ministry that we report on the news. We explain it through a lens of Bible prophecy, of course. 
But that's what we're doing. We're explaining Bible prophecy and using current events to help with that. And so we're going to talk about things that, like our background says today, may be sensitive or offensive to some because we're trying to tell you the truth of the Bible. Now, what that does is, you know, people say, well, don't use Google. Use DuckDuckGo or use Bing or whatever. Well, I get that, but there's like 99% of people using Google still. So that's what basically all the world uses for their search engine. That's where a lot of people are searching. Guess what they don't find when they search, what does the Bible say about world government? Well, they're not going to find endtime.com. So then they don't see what we have to say about it or what some other smaller publications say about it. And they might be missing out on the truth. They may never find a, an independent perspective or from, our, from, from us a biblical perspective on that because we're saying things that goes against what Google policy is. And so they never get to find end time. And that's why we need your help with sharing the videos, commenting giving us a love instead of a thumbs up, that all helps us get out even more. We're fighting a, a big monster here, but it does help when you do those things. So publications like End Time are being suppressed, which means if you're not following in line with what Google says is appropriate or truthful, that information is being suppressed from people that you work with, people that you go to church with, your family members. You don't, you know, some of you don't know what your kids are searching on Google, well, they might have found an article or a video from End Time, and that might have adjusted their perspective on the matter. But if you're using Google, that may not happen anymore. And this is just a battle that we've been in for a very long time with censorship. That's why subscribing to End Time Plus is so important at watch.endtime.com. You're going to get notified. We've told you before, we have hundreds of thousands of followers on social media. Most of you do not get notified when we go live or post something on social media because our information is just being suppressed and this is just a, a, a new attack on people like end time and so man, we need your support more than ever if you're watching now uh, you're you may be one of the few because it's just not getting out there so we need your help in sharing we need your help financially all these things help us to continue to get the word out there and to do everything we can so Doug you're talking about how this suppresses people you know, I think of the, the little guy, you know, the small businesses that, that are going to be affected by this. Yeah. We, we, we survive off of donations. Mm -hmm. And so donations decrease because more and more people aren't finding us. So that's, you know, unfortunately how it ends up working. So we rely on God, though. Right. Above Amen. everything else. That's right. And, you know, I mean, our voice is going to be heard and people are going to get it out there. But I, as I was reading through this article today, I was wondering how much of this has to do with Tucker Carlson and what... Mm. you know his situation was because he was on a major news network uh and they wanted him to be shut down they they even i remember when uh chuck schumer stood in the the senate room floor saying you know I, the calling out to the president of fox news saying to to keep tucker carlson from doing this anymore when he let out the information about january 6th he showed us video of january 6th and in that video of january 6th we see people just walking through um the capitol building there the the one main guy that i think of is is the one that was dressed with the buffalo horns on his head i can't remember they call him the the um what do they call him the uh um, um q -Anon shaman thank you in my ear there's <laughs> production helping me out so they show him he supposedly was very violent and the police had to arrest him and all these things but you saw the footage yourself live on tv where they're escorting him through and showing him all the things and then you know they arrest him and take him to jail saying that he was a violent protester so when tucker was getting that stuff out they suppressed him on fox news they ended up firing him he he went off the air on a friday and monday he didn't have a job he had no clue his last I think his last stint there on Fox, he had the pizza delivery guy on his show that stopped um, a carjacking uh, when he tripped the guy, when he run by him and the police jumped the guy and got him and Tucker had him bring some pizza in and they shared a pizza. That was his last show. Didn't know that on Monday he wouldn't have a program. Well, now he has a program on another type of format where it's more of he's just able to say what he wants to say and he even you know has video out there where he talks about how the media the the mainstream media pushes agendas and they're not telling us the truth and so how much of this is targeted at people like him as well you know it's not just us for trying to get biblical proof out but it's also somebody who's exposing what is going on 
with world government and with uh, the agenda behind what the media is pushing out there with the COVID-19 vaccine, all the different things that are happening. He's telling you things that they don't want you to hear. So this is a big story. Yeah. I mean, it, it's bigger than what I think the media is pushing it to be, I guess, so to speak. Because Surprise, when, surprise. Yeah, when we see it, we're like, I mean, when you sent me this article yesterday, the alarm bells went off, and I sent you a text back and said, wow, I can't believe this. So, um, Well, Doug, the people are crying out. Hurry up and tell us what the nine things are. Oh, okay. Well, let's so, get So there. sorry to bore you all <laughs> with the conversation, but um, are we ready to get into this? Yeah, let's they've, do this. They've announced plans to completely ban all independent media outlets from appearing in their search results. Now, that's what happened in Ireland, but we mm -hmm. won't get off into that because they want to hear the nine things. Right. Let's go. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so, far from the noble intention of assisting with the factual verification of information online, Google's algorithms are designed to delete websites that criticize topics such as... We ready for number one? Yeah, drum roll, please. All right, don't forget to share the video. That helps us out. <laughs> number one, COVID-19 statistics. Mm, number one, that does not surprise me that's number one. Yeah. COVID. Now, CNN posts uh, uh, COVID-19 statistics. Fox does all that. Mm -hmm. These big, YouTube and even does that. So it's like, are we saying they're gonna suppress that or is that specific independent media sites like us? Yeah, I would think if that's anything that's going against their narrative, then it has to do with that, then they're going to shut you down. Why is this even a problem anymore? Because they've announced this battle is over. Of course, they've reintroduced that it's spreading again. But is this really a, a thing that should be listed, COVID-19 statistics? I guess for historical purposes. Well, just saying that word COVID-19 can get us banned from Facebook and YouTube. Okay. So we shouldn't say COVID-19 anymore on the show. Probably Probably not, but we'll continue decrease, to do it. Decrease the use of COVID-19? <laughs> yeah. All right, number two, the World Bank. Yeah, imagine that. If an independent media outlet says the World Bank, mm -hmm. you risk being deleted from Google algorithm. And why do you think that would be important at this point in time? Hmm. Well, I mean, seriously, like, why is that important? It's going, okay, if they're trying to impose things, we were talking about something that we may do later on, uh, on a topic going on in the bank banking industry, but mm -hmm. if they if you they want to control the narrative, that's that's what it boils right. down to. Yeah, they want they want. You, we've seen that clip where all the different news hosts are saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. They go to Fox, they go to CNN, they go to ABC, all the different ones. Yeah, and er, it's like everyone's reading from the same script. Mm -hmm. They want to control the messaging that's going out. Right. So if if you're on Google and you're not in alignment with that messaging, yeah, well. And right now they Good want to luck. push out the, the digital currency and they want that to be the new cool hip thing. And yeah. So if you're speaking against that, boy, they want to shut that down because they want everybody to buy into that because then they can control you through currency. So, you know, I mean, it's it, it's amazing that these are, are two of the top two topics there. But let's continue so we can get everybody to number six because I know that's what they're waiting for. Number six. Oh, no, well, number two is the World Bank. So we got yeah. COVID-19 statistics. Number two, the World Bank. Number three, the FBI's crime statistics. <laughs> That's another one that makes you scratch your head. What's why, wrong with this? Yeah, why would the FBI crime statistics be there? And I'm, surely that doesn't have anything to do with Hunter Biden or his laptop. Don't right? say that around here, Doug. <laughs> we might have somebody knocking on our door in the middle of the show. Right. Um, I heard that his lead criminal investigator is asked to be released from the case, which that's neither here nor there. Mm. Um, the FBI's crime statistics, Doug, it seems like, why is that a problem? Yeah. I guess if someone with an, that's in, now, okay, are we willing to admit that there are plenty of independent media outlets, media organizations that are just reporting falsely? Like, isn't that true that even if they're not in, like independent and big, there's people who are reporting on things that are not true. Right. And, I mean, that's one of the things that, like you said earlier, why we're not ready to go to certain stories. We want to make sure we have all our facts straight. Yeah. And we want to make sure we're bringing the most current information that is true information to you so that you can gather the facts. And we even tell people all the time, Vince, you've got to <coughs> gather all your facts, do, do the studying for yourself, and then decide what you need to do about certain situations. So 
I mean, yes, there are some agents, some independent news people or even people with just a TikTok out there that can say pretty much anything they want to. Well, and you know, we, we say this all the time, like, don't trust Fox, don't trust CNN, don't trust us. Like, right. if we report on something, like, we think we're trustworthy, obviously, we're trying to tell you the truth, but don't just take our word for it. Right. Go search it out and you figure out the truth as well. Mm -hmm. And, and we, we go that far with the Bible as well. Amen. Like, if we start telling you what the Bible says, yeah. And we're making stuff up. You don't need to rely on people who are making stuff up about the Bible for your spiritual well-being. Right. Whether it's us, some other show that you watch, uh, some other ministry you follow, or even your own church. Like, don't just take somebody's word for what the Bible says. You get in there and study it for yourself. Yeah. That's true. That would get us persecuted, too. So I won't <laughs> stick around for that. That should have been on the list. Yeah. Uh, so number one, COVID-19 stats. Number two, the World Bank. Number three, the FBI's crime statistics. Number four, a one-world global government. Mm -hmm. well, that's an interesting thing to be on this list. I know, right? <laughs> Can it, um, uh, comment Maui if you want to hear about that. So, there you uh, go. <laughs> one-world global government. Mm -hmm. Isn't it amazing deal? that they, they want to stop any talk about that because they want to deny that that's even part of their goal, but we know it is. And so, uh, you know, that's why they want it suppressed. They, they want it shut down so that people don't understand that there's going to be a one world global government. So number one, COVID-19 stats. Number two, the World Bank. Number three, the FBI's crime stats. Number four, a one world global Government. Somebody asked why BlackRock's not mentioned. That's a great question. Um, oh, there's the music, Doug. We can't get to number six just yet. We're out of time. Oh, man. So you have to stick around to hear what it is. We'll get to five and six and all the way through nine on the other side of the break. Give us a call, 877-IN-TIME. You Two, just love making people use it. Most people use it. Number five, global warming stats provided by the IPCC. Imagine that. Global What's the IPCC? Stats? The International Panel on Climate Change. Okay, so we couldn't write an article global warming about global warming stats that they provided data for? Like, if we did, it just wouldn't it's, appear in your Google search, potentially. Yeah, yeah. That's not, what it's saying. Not coming from us. Now, if it was coming from CNN, that would be on the top storyline. <laughs> Why, why is this done? What's going on here? Because we tend to, to post more of the, the truth about these situations, and so they don't want to hear what we have to say. Uh, you know, I'm surprised. Never mind. I'm just going to be quiet right now because they'll shut my personal Facebook down if I don't. Well, you know, Google's supposed to be like a database, yeah. you know, where you can search. Yeah, exactly. Whatever it is you're trying to find, mm -hmm. and you're going to get results for that mm -hmm. and be able to click and pick whatever you want. Right. But they're now saying that if you're an independent media outlet, these are some things that if you write about, it may not make it into the algorithm on Google. And so yeah. instead of being on page one, I've already said we were not on page, we were like top five results on many of these topics just less than 10 years ago. And because mm -hmm. Google has edited their algorithms and changed it and suppressed people like us, we don't appear there anymore. We're on page two or three or worse. Yeah. And so people, new people, don't find us when they do these searches. Yeah, that's true. I, I talked to somebody on the phone a few years ago, Doug. What are you laughing you at? You got me on the edge of my seat, and I know, you know what, what number, number six, six is. is. <laughs> I, I talked to uh, someone a few years ago. Yeah. I don't even remember why I was about to tell this story, so I'm I don't sorry. even know if I should. But <laughs> nonetheless, yeah, uh, we'll just move on. Okay. I don't remember what that was about, but... Uh, it was about um, it was about censorship. I know that yeah. much, but I'm not going to be able to draw that. So, uh, number six. Are we ready for this? Yes. Anheuser Busch. Yeah. How about that? That's to me. That's ridiculous. Anhe I, the, the beer company. Yeah. So Bud Light. You know they they've had this push where they put a transgender individual on their can, right? Pushing the LGBTQ plus lifestyle, and of course, Anheuser Busch has taken a, a large hit and, and gone from. I heard the other day they were like the number one beer, like Bud Light was like the number one beer in America, and now For it's years. like it's like some off brand, like I'd never heard of before. Um, I can't remember which one it was, but anyway, they they're like 
they're not the king anymore. Remember, the, they were the, the guy, king the of guys beers in the, back in the day. The guys in the production room didn't come in and tell us what that you know, beer they, was. They probably don't know beer. either. <laughs> you know, I, I can remember being a little kid and seeing the, the Budweiser commercial and it said king of beers, you know, yeah. back in the day. Well, they've totally ruined that. Now they're the queen of beers. And, <laughs> or, or are they? Yeah, and, and so they've lost a lot of respect from a lot of people because of that, and they push this agenda. So now if you even mention Anheuser-Busch, they're going to censor you. Well, this guy, Dylan, I can't remember his last name. His name's Dylan M- Mul- Mulvaney. Mulvaney. They came in Thank for that. you. Dylan Mulvaney, Thank oddly you. enough. Uh, they came in for that. No, oh, that's not what I was saying. But Dylan Mulvaney, uh, he's the guy that they did this deal with, but mm-hmm. he also is the guy that posted, like, my first 60 days of being a girl. Like, he did this series on TikTok. Mm. It was recognized by the White House. President Biden brought him in to the White House. Mm. And remember, I showed these clips on the uh, Online Prophecy Weekend a few years ago. Mm-hmm. So, like, this this guy has been around, and Anheuser-Busch did this deal with him. And now Google is saying that people like us can't talk about this if we want to appear in the top searches. Yeah, They're basically saying, well, you know, somebody told LeBron a few years ago to shut up and dribble. <laughs> right. They're basically telling us, like, shut up. You cannot talk about these things yeah. if you want anybody to read your site. Yeah, and, and here's one of the things. Remember, we, we saw that uh, Budweiser and Anheuser-Busch, that they're one of those uh, companies that are protected, you know, by the uh, global elites because what they do is they feed money into um, those systems, and if you – are doing certain things you get certain scores and you get your name pushed up there you get a certain amount of money but if you reject those and kind of go it goes down the opposite way so they're all part of this and so that must be they're protecting their investment i would imagine is what they're doing here vince and i'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist there but i am (laughs) trying to say that they're investing money into that and so if you're saying something that's going to bring people away from their product this is another reason why they're doing that. So, I mean, th- this is a bigger story, like I said, than what a lot of people would give it credit for. Uh, but that's, to me, that's ridiculous that we can't have in our article the name Anheuser Busch. Well, we can, but if we want new people to find it, yeah, and if, if they you use Google, to, yeah, you're wasting your time, basically. Right. So that it's not. It's it's voluntary buyback. It's like. You are not making you turn your guns in, mm-hmm. but you're going to get taxed until you can't afford to live until you do that. It's it's like the right. same story. So, you know, you well, don't and, have and to write about it. Here's the thing too: if we're doing this, if we're putting things that have these topics in our articles or on our program, and somebody goes to tag that and put it on YouTube or they go to put it on Facebook, you're going to get something like this behind us. Yeah, that's going to cover that up and, and say this is false information and click here to see why and all that stuff they're going to try to keep people from seeing that and suppress it from being able to get out and so that's the other thing that's going to happen when when is it going to move from this that's what's scary to where we can't do this to where they come and try to shut us down completely and say look you can't be in business well, i mean anymore. they're doing that arrest all you guys they're doing that without boarding up the doors yeah they're doing that by trying to cause people like us to go out of business mm-hmm I mean, that's what it boils down to. They're doing it without officially doing it. Yeah, you're right. So it's kind of creepy. All right, real quick recap again. COVID-19 stats is number one. The World Bank, number two. The FBI's crime stats, number three. A one-world global government, number four. Global warming stats provided by the IPCC is number five. Number six is what someone called Transheiser Bush. Uh, (laughs) Nice. Number seven is World Health Organization. No, their findings on any topic they select. How about that? World Health Organization's findings on any topic they select. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... WHO. WHO, and we've talked about that before because, remember, it's the WHO who's trying to get the nations to uh, basically give over their sovereignty. And and just saying that right there, they've tried to fact-check that and say that's not true. But it is true because they would be able to lock down your country if you sign this agreement with them... We talked about it a couple of weeks ago on the program. If you sign over your sovereignty to them, then anything that they deem an emergency health situation, they could shut you down. So is that what's going on in Maui right now? You know, I mean, they're shutting that down. They're not even allowing people to bring supplies into that area. Did you say Maui? 
I did. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. And so I mean these kind of things are happening all over the place. If if they deem that that is something that they could shut down the entire island and not let anybody back in there, they would be able to do that under something like that. And so we've seen this disaster happen, uh, whether you believe that it's natural or this was caused by greenhouse gases or whatever you believe that it is. Uh, you know, the thing is, they could come in and say, yes, this is caused by global warming. Uh, you know, these factories did it. We're going to shut down this entire island. So I thought, we want to do it God's way, don't we? And it was an awesome cruise, and it was fun, but we're looking forward to our next one. We're going there again this week. <laughs> we love the water. We love the simplicity of life, just go and be on the water, right? So anyway, that's just enough about us. Now, in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, I just wanted to tell you that story because we want to do things God's way, especially now, what's going on in the world. It's one terror after the next. And as you've watched the news this last couple days, you see the agendas are moving forward. If you've listened to what I've been preaching, you understand what's going on. Some people don't want to know, they don't want to see, and they're going to be uh, totally unprepared yep. because when you see what's going on and you see that this was not a, these are not natural fires, that's all I'll say. You have to know that there's an agenda behind it for more things to be put in place. So if you know what the agendas are, which we, we cannot stop them, I sure wish we could, and they're moving along really fast, but we don't have to be afraid of it. Because God's shown us. He's shown us. We're walking with him, and he's telling us, showing us not to be deceived. Don't let any man deceive you. Don't let any politician deceive you. Don't let any president deceive you. Don't let any pastor deceive you. Right? Because end time is deception. So here in 2 Thessalonians, none of this is what I was going to share. So we'll, we'll get <laughs> little add-ons here. You can't go back in there and now we own this, basically. Uh, that's what... We're talking about with uh, the, the World, World, WHO, the World Health yeah. Organization. So if you say anything about them, once again, there you go. They're on the list. I'm surprised, really, that they're not higher up on the list. No doubt. They're number seven. I can't believe they're not, like, number three. Well, I did move Anheuser-Busch to number six, so they, I think they were number six before. Well, but, still. All right, you mentioned Maui. Again, mm -hmm. we're not diving off into that subject, at least just not yet. We'll have to see what happens there. There's a lot of information developing. Yeah. We can't really comment on how everything happened. We can comment on how things are happening now, of course. We yeah. talked about that briefly here. But comment Maui if, if you want to hear more about those details. If, if there's anything to share, we certainly will. Um, number eight, United Nations Energy Stats Database. The UN's Energy Stats Database. Yeah. So if I write a story about this, mm -hmm. talking about their carbon emission stuff, you posted a photo on your Facebook earlier today mm -hmm. about the number of days that it reached 100 degrees. Yeah. And I believe the hottest ever was this year, right? Well, yeah, the hottest temperature ever, I think, above average was. But we still didn't break the, the record. That was still in 1980 here in this. All the way back in 1980. 1980, we had 42 days, I think, over 100 degree temperature. And I talked about that the other things that Google has now banned worldwide, not just locally in your area, but worldwide. If you are an independent media outlet, there are things that you are no longer going to be able to write about. If you want to appear in the top searches on Google, they will simply either delete you entirely or push you back so far on the pages that no one can find you, which we talked about a little bit. is kind of like boarding up somebody's business, depending on you know the, the media outlet. They, they rely on Google because it's something like 98%, 99% of the population uses Google as the search engine. So people can say, don't use that, you use DuckDuckGo or you know, which is what I personally use, but there's others out there that you can use, and yes, you can, but um, the amount of people that are there are, you know, it's just not where everybody's at, and so it's still important to be on Google to reach the masses, and that's one thing we do. Of course, someone could say the same thing about YouTube and Facebook and all the different social media outlets, so. That and say that's not true, but it is true because they would be able to lock down your country if you sign this agreement with them for this pandemic uh, treaty. Ass report. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? 
Well, anything that's uh, given data about the greenhouse gases and anything that you would have to say negative, I, I would assume that means it's funny to me that out of those nine, three of them are based on climate change or carbon emissions or environmental protections, greenhouse gases. I mean, that just, that amazes me that so much about that right now is what they're suppressing. But remember also, Vince, when um, we showed the, uh, the guy that was from CNN, he was one of the producers of CNN, and they did an investigative reporting uh, undercover video of him talking about what the next big thing they were going to push after COVID-19. He said, global warming. So what have we heard since COVID-19 has gone away? This agenda about global warming over and over and over again. Uh, you know, there was um, some some footage where they showed, um, oh, what was his name? The vice president back in the day that pushed all the greenhouse stuff. I can't even think of his name. Help me out. There you go. Al Gore. <laughs> They're so good in the production room. Al Gore, when they, there was a brand new video that was uh, put out of him. Now he's saying that, you know, uh, we're going to have this global cooling now. He talked about global warming back in the 80s when I was in school. I remember hearing him talk about how, you know, the polar bears were going to all drown because there wasn't going to be any icebergs to be on and everything because of global warming. Now, the other day, he was talking about global cooling. But also, remember, he invented the Internet. So, you know, I mean, there, he's got that going for him. I guess he can always fall back on that. But uh, it's just amazing because they're always trying to push something and now they're pushing uh, global warming like never before or climate change, you know, whenever the global warming stuff started to be uh, something that people were kind of pushing against, then they cha changed it to global uh, climate change. And so it's it's interesting to see three out of the nine there listed, Vince. So I guess we better be real careful about what we post on our titles of our programs and things well the, it it doesn't it's not even that doug they are listening to us right now all right and the um the machines are transcribing everything that we say ai yes and so and they've been go. doing this for a very long time and yeah. so whatever you say is being transcribed by a machine and it's being tracked and then they're using that for many many things right but so it doesn't really matter so Here's the deal. I think we're committed to telling people the truth. Yeah, absolutely. We don't care what Google says we can or can't say. Mm -mm. We're going to tell people. You have a great point because when you look in the Bible and you start looking at what happens when God begins to pour the wrath out, the wrath of God, the first uh, vial that's poured out is poured out on who? All the people that take the mark of the beast. And so it's going to be the world government, and it's going to be everybody, all their lackeys that are following them. And then the other plagues that begin to happen there, the other vials that are poured out, they're, they're, it's almost like God is pouring their own thing back out on them. Seas turn to blood. The, the sun gives them sores on them. Uh, the sun goes black in one of them. You know, it's, it's, it's just amazing because we see God say, okay, you've been warning about all this stuff all this time. You've been making all this stuff up. I'm going to show you what can really happen when these things really get ramped up. But it's going to be geared more toward the people that have taken the mark of the beast. And a lot of people, you know, they get fired up and they say, well, we're not going to be here when the, when the wrath of God's being poured out and everything. Well, the rapture of the church doesn't happen until after the sixth vial. Did you really need to throw one more controversial thing in? At the hey, very why end not? Of, like, I mean, we're at the let's end talk of the about program. the timing of the rapture. What else can we do? There you on? go. But the, the, is Donald Trump the Antichrist? <laughs> can we throw that in there too? But my point is, is God is going to. He's going to be the one that gets the revenge on people. He's the one that's going uh, to come and fight for us, and and it's going to be against those people. And so we don't have to be afraid of that. We just have to educate folks and, and make sure they're not taking the mark of the beast. They're not following that one world government beast. They're not following his partner, the false prophet. That they stay uh, connected to God, that their name's in the Lamb's Book of Life, and they're going to be fine. We're going get, to get through all this. Um, but it is interesting. These things are so interesting because in, never in my lifetime would I have thought that we would be looking at these type of things and talking about them every day. I mean, so much coming at you every day. Well, here's what I know, Doug. It's yeah. never been easier to understand. That's true. It's never been easier to understand. And so, yeah. uh, you know, I would venture to say that anyone that reads Understanding the End Time, our brand new book, anyone that reads that mm -hmm. it, with a sincere heart, with self-honesty, will not take the mark of the beast. Right. And won't have to go through any of that. Yeah. So if you want to be, I guess you could say mark of the beast proof. 
You need to read Understand the yeah, End Time. Mark of the Beast. Proof, time. Right? Um, we want to be able to reach people no matter where we are, and that's what we're talking about today. I told you you couldn't believe number six. I wonder what you thought about that. Did anybody expect number six to be what it was? Comment and let me know. Um, Doug, I don't think we should get to number nine until we tell everybody again that... Ja, kära älskade vänner. Ni som hade hört förra uppdateringen. Ni vet att vi varnade för att de kommer att manipulera media. Så att bara deras version, lugn med andra ord, kommer att komma fram. Medan sanningen kommer att hållas tillbaka. Och de hemsidor och de nyheter och de budskap som inte passar dem kommer man att stänga av. Och det var ju vad man varnade för i det här programmet. Och det var vad vi varnade för i förra programmet också. Och låt oss nu bara avsluta med detta. Med vad Gud tycker om deras lugner och manipulationer. För det är nämligen så här att Gud kommer nämligen att bli vansinnig. Han kommer att få ett raseriutbrott. Och det är nämligen det ordet som används om vredeskålarna. Tumos som betyder ju fullständigt raseri. Och vem vill drabbas av Gud den allsmäktiges vansinniga raseri inte jag i alla fall så vi gör bäst i att hålla oss till evangeliet och blodet och försoningen och räknas som rättfärdiga genom tron på vad Jesus Kristus har gjort för oss Gud välsigne så länge vi kommer säkert igen om man inte lyckas stänga ner oss så fortsätter vi som vanligt så länge det går Amen Och jag hörde en stark röst från templet säga till de sju änglarna Gå ut och töm Guds sju vredeskålar över jorden. Och den första gick bort och tömde sin skål över jorden. Och onda och svåra bölder slog upp på de människor som hade vilddjurets märke och som tillbad dess bild. Den andra ängeln tömde sin skål över havet och havet förvandlades till blod som från en död, och allt liv i havet dog. Den tredje ängeln tömde sin skål över floderna och vattenkällorna, och det förvandlades till blod. Och jag hörde vattnens ängel säga, Rättfärdiga du som är och som var, du helige, ty du har fällt denna dom. 
det har du utgjutit heligas och profeters blod, och därför har du gett dem blod att dricka, och det har förtjänat det. Och jag hörde altaret säga, Ja, Herre Gud, du allsmäktige, sanna och rättfärdiga är dina domar. Den fjärde tömde sin skål över solen, och den fick makt att bränna människorna med eld. Det brändes av stark hetta och härdade Guds namn, han som har makt över dessa plågor, men det vägrade att omvända sig och ge honom äran. Den femte tömde sin skål över vilddjurets tron, och dess rike lades i mörker. Människorna bet sig i tungan av smärtan och härdade himlens Gud för sina plågor och sina bölder, men det omvände sig inte från sina gärningar. Den sjätte tömde sin skål över den stora floden Eufrat och dess vatten torkade ut så att vägen bereddes för kungarna från östen. Och jag såg att det ur drakens skap och ur vilddjurets skap och ur den falske profetens mun kom ut tre orena andar som liknade paddor. Det är ondskefulla andar som gör tecken, och det beger sig ut till kungarna i hela världen för att samla dem till striden på Guds den allsmäktiges stora dag. Se, jag kommer som en tjuv, salig är den som vakar, och bevarar sina kläder så att han inte går naken och man ser hans kön. Och det samlade dem på den plats som på hebreiska heter Armageddon. Den sjunde tömde sin skål över luften och en stark röst gick ut från tronen i templet och den sade Det har skett. Och det kom blixtar, dån och oska, och en stor jordbävning. En sådan som inte har förekommit så länge det funnits människor på jorden. Så väldig var den. Den stora staden rämnade i tre delar, och folkens städer störtade samman. Gud kom ihåg det stora Babylon, och räckte det bägaren med sin stränga vredesvin. Alla öar flydde och bergen fanns inte mer. Stora hagel, tunga som talenter, föll ner från himlen över människorna och det härdade Gud för hagelplågan eftersom den var mycket svår.